Hi everyone, it's Ginny. Um, excuse me while I just sit down. Now, today I'm going to be working on something I've wanted to, to do for a really long time. And um, I'll start by explaining that back in August of this year, I was inspired by watching one of Mr. Victor Crafter's videos. Hi Victor. Um, he did the mixed media birds and I really loved those birds and I wanted to um, have a go at doing them myself. But I've just been too busy doing other things up until now. So now I want to do that and I want to make a bird on camera and um, then I'll show you some others that I've already made at the end of this. So I've already got some um, cardboard birds that I cut out just from a cereal box. I just drew a rough sketch of a bird shape and um, put some, um, some wings for it and I'm going to be working on that. I also had some legs but I'm not quite sure where I've put them now. I'll get them out after anyway. Um, so what I want to do is start working on this. It's going to take me a really long time so I'll, um, I'll fast forward from now and then I'll come back and talk to you at the end. So I hope you enjoy the process.
Oh, that's a strong smell. Alcohol. Oh. These are sprays I made from um, the inside of markers and some alcohol. What's that called? Rubbing alcohol. Very, very strong smell. So yeah, basically I want to colour these up. Try and soak up some of that excess. And get it all over my hands. Alright, let those dry. see the lighter colour underneath. Some of the holes aren't popped out of this, still covered in. Heart. except I should have put that on the other side
Seite. Right. Now for embellishments. I'm showing you this because it's got a really be, um, pretty pattern in um, in the paint. I um, was playing around with um, doing jelly printing without a jelly print, and um, I used a brayer and some paint on a piece of glass, and um, it brought out a really nice texture. So. I want to use that to um, cut out some flowers, so that's why I held that up there. them a really nice stripy pattern. I like it. There's an aeroplane overhead. Can you hear that Wendy? We get planes too. Probably not as loud as yours though. bubbles out everywhere and I'm not even squeezing it. It does that every time. <coughs> Stop it, you naughty glue. <laughs> End up wasting too much of it.
hand. Can't even see where I put the hole now. <laughs> Where's the hole? Oh no. I lost it. Hold it up to the light. There it is. You can see a tiny bit of light through the hole. Great. Stuck in the fabric. So I'll let it go. About there, maybe. Yep. Oh, good. That lined up well. stop it from fraying. Okay, there she is, my mixed media birdie, all finished. Um, I'll just zoom out a fraction so I can show you the others. Oops, that's in too far. <laughs> oh, don't see too much of my desk mess. <laughs> So that's her. 
and <clears throat> I already made two more. It's another girl birdie. Pretty much the same. She's got um, different colours, of course, and she's got um, Brodie on Grace little skirt and in the flowers here I just used some paper of some um, scratch off paper that I'd rub paints onto and I used some of those daisies that I dried from my garden and coated in the varnish so that's her and I did a boy birdie as well <laughs> I really like him He's in traditional blue. <laughs> and for him, just to make him a little bit more masculine, um, I made him, instead of flowers, I made these buttons. And I used some of this um, shelf liner or non-slip mat stuff as a backing for the buttons and put some embroidery cotton through there. And here I made um, one of my art tiles. I made one specifically to go with him. So I've matched it with um, a red leaf to go with the red and um, a pale of blue, but there's still a blue there. So <clears throat> that's my three mixed media birds. I'll put photos at the end. But... Um, so I want to say thank you very much, Victor, for the inspiration. Um, I really enjoyed seeing your um, videos of the birds you've made. They're really beautiful. And I've really wanted to do this for a long time. And I'm so glad I did. It was a lot of fun. Um, and most, of, most people already know Victor. He's um, Mr. Victor Crafter on YouTube. And... Um, He's a gentleman who lives in the Ukraine and he um, does some absolutely beautiful um, craft projects and um, he's very um, imaginative and very creative and in particular because he doesn't have a lot of the materials available to him like we have in America and Australia and England. Um, so he he just does some amazing things. You've got to go check him out if you don't already know him. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. So please go and check him out. Give him your support. Um, I know he'd really appreciate it and he truly deserves it. He's just an absolute marvel. I just love Victor. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. I hope I've inspired some of you as well to maybe carry on. Go have a look at what Victor's done um, and have a go at it yourself. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back again soon for another video. I'll just quickly say I want to, um, because Victor's done various different styles of mixed media birds, and I would like to try some other styles, <clears throat> but of course I'll, I'll do them in another video because, you know, this has taken... I got cut off. I was just saying, this has taken long enough already, so um, I'll do a separate video for some different birds a bit, little bit later down the track. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. See you again soon.